page 30, square dance tune. Sounds like fun. Let's see what it is. Got a lot of notes, but we'll check it out. I look it over, it's about a page and a half long. Treble and bass clef signs. Now we got four sharps. They're going crazy with the sharps here. Four sharps, that's in the key of E major, so make sure you're doing the scale for E major. This way you'll know which black keys are involved. Just learn the scale, and then when you play it, just play the notes in the scale. It's the way I do it. It really works great. Because before I really knew the scales, I had to stop and say, is this sharp or is this, I have to write in sharp signs everywhere, where are they? Just learn the scale and play the notes in the scale. It's so much easier. And then you don't care what key it's in. You just, because you know it. Or the, you know which notes are involved. It's the accidentals you got to watch out for. And 4-4 four, four time signature. Now the hands are kind of busy. I'll take it one hand at a time. This first line is an introduction. You're up here in the right hand, F sharp. It's, it's here, and it's, that's it. Okay. And then we come down here. Just lift up and come down. Second line. One and two. So, because the F and G sharp are in the key signature. Remember, you have F and G sharp and C and D sharp. You're using them all except the A sharp, using an A natural. That, so, we're, we're there. I don't know. Let's go over to page 31, second line. It's second measure. One, two, three, four. One, A sharp, just come up, rest, and then back to what you were doing at the beginning. Last line, second measure is, and then the last measure it is a, a D natural because there's a D sharp in the key signature, it would be that, but they want a D natural. So it's a D chord, and then up here to an E chord. So just here. That's all it is, is D chord to an E chord. Left hand, well, you, it's an E and an A to start with, and then you come down here to an E chord. One, two, three, four. D chord, one, four, one, two, three, four, one. Just going back and forth between a D, an E chord and a D chord. And this last line in the third measure, it's a C chord. Because otherwise it would be a C sharp and a G sharp, but they don't want, they want a C chord. Top of page 31. One and, so I've got, through the, the hand position is actually that. So it's okay. Second line, same thing. Third measure, second line. One, A sharp. And you back to your chords again. Put the hands together. Well, it's here. And together. Oh, that sounds lovely. Where's my wine or And then you're back down to one. Rest. So that's kind of tricky. You want to get to where you can actually move this without looking. You can feel that. That it makes it a little easier if you can get to where you can feel this movement. So you put the hands together slowly and then go back slowly and carefully and get rid of the hesitations. So it's a steady beat. And then we'll think about the articulation. Now this first line is all connected. So I'll go to the second line, staccatos. I'm flexing at the wrist, staccatos, short. This is, this is short. So. Accent, play them a little louder. And go ahead and separate, like in the second line, second measure, the half note. Separate it from here. Lift up. It's a new phrase. It's like we're dealing with two major phrases again. That's all. Top of page 31. Put in the staccatos and slurs. The only accents I see are these, like at the end of the lines. Here, uh, uh. here on, over on page 31, uh, what the last three lines or the 
third line down and the last line, you get accent, just play a little louder. Then the dynamics. 4K at the beginning is loud. Whatever. Both hands, there's no melody. It's just and then second line, you come down to mezzo forte, or moderately loud. These chords need to be soft. Because if you don't play this soft, it ruins it. You lose the melody. So keep the chords soft. At the top of page 31, you go up to loud. And then the chord, background. This, that's loud. Second line, echo that soft. Now you're loud, both hands actually. And then third line is back to the right hand, the left hand's in the background. And then the last line, you're starting this out sort of loud. You're going to go up to loud for the last measure. If you don't plan it out and think about it, you'll be loud by the second measure. You'll be loud there. We don't want to be loud there. You can, if you want, come down to moderately soft so you got more room. So I could play the first measure moderately soft. Then up just a hair. Then moderately loud. Now loud. Or, since the last measure is accented, you're actually going to play those very loud. Because the accent takes it up from where you are, and they say loud with accents makes them very loud. Well, if they're going to do that, then the measure right before could be loud. Because So I'm going to go moderately soft, moderately loud, loud, very loud. Each measure just got a little louder. You, you kind of plan it out, and then oh, eventually when you start feeling it, you, you feel the crescendo. Then once I have the articulation under control, more or less, I'll think about the speed. With spirit again, it's not a speed, it's... It's a happy piece. It has to be accurate here. How fast can you play this accurately? It's not a race. It's just a, a happy dance. And I've added pedal for the first line. Give it the overtones. We're kind of building it up. That's fine. Push the pedal down with the note here at the beginning. Just push the pedal down with it and lift the pedal with the hands. If that's all they're going to do, I'm not going to bother showing it. You can do that. Just push the pedal out with a note, leave it down. And lift the pedal up with the hands. That's it. That's fine. You could play the whole thing without pedal. That's fine too. It's interpreting. Which do you like better? Go with that. Don't get carried away with the speed. It needs to be accurate and needs to be fun. So whatever you can do this. Plenty fast enough. Please don't copy me, that's just one way it can be played. You don't have to take it that fast or that slow. Check, play around with the dynamics. Experiment with the natural accents. One, two, three, four. See the, the left hand's playing on the weak beats. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, it's playing on the off beats. Experiment with the, the natural accents.
Let's play this together very slowly and check the notes and the rhythms. Not going to do any louds and softs, just notes and rhythms. Staccatos and slurs, I'll do those. I'll give us four counts. First line's going to seem kind of slow because they're all half notes and whole notes, but once we get to the eighth notes, we've got to watch out. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one. 